Hello friends, welcome back on our channel. Today we will discuss about Fermat's principle of extremum path. Now first of all, what is Fermat's principle of least time? According to Fermat's principle of least time, if a ray of light in passing from one point to another through a set of media by any number of reflections and refractions, the number of reflections and refractions can be in any amount, but it selects a path along which the time taken is minimum or least. Since in moving from one medium to another medium, by any number of reflections and refractions, the ray of light selects a path along which the time taken is minimum or least and hence it is known as Fermat's principle of least time. But it is found in some cases the time taken was maximum in place of minimum. It means the time taken moving a ray from one point to another in any number of reflections and refractions, it selects a path in which the time taken is either minimum or maximum. But time can never be in between these two. So the above law or the above principle is modified in a new form. The principle of least time is modified as Fermat's principle of stationary time or Fermat's principle of extremum path. Now what is Fermat's principle of extremum path? According to this principle, a ray of light in passing from one point to another through a set of media by any number of reflections or refractions selects a path for which the time taken is either minimum or maximum. So the time taken in moving from one point to another through a set of media is either minimum or maximum. And hence, this principle is known as Fermat's principle of extremum path. Now these are number of media. Now a ray is coming from left and it moved towards right by a number of reflections or refractions. There are number of media in between these two. A and B are the first and last point of the ray. Now, from the Fermat's principle of stationary time or the Fermat's principle of extremum path, integration A to B ds upon v is either maximum or minimum or integration a to b mu ds upon v is equal to maximum or minimum since the reflective index of medium is c upon v the reflective index of medium is defined as the ratio of velocity of light in vacuum to the velocity of light in medium. So mu is equal to C by V. Or the above law in mathematical form is modified as integration A to B mu ds is equal to maximum or minimum. Now we differentiate above equation. So differential of integration A to B mu ds is equal to zero. Here mu ds is known as optical path in medium having reflective index mu. Here we end our session. Thank you and goodbye.